A project has dozens of features and hundreds of technical requirements. Do not lose the overview. Requirement structuring is essential. Humans tend to structure content for easier capturing, review, and collaboration. But within JIRA, you have very limited capabilities to define a structure and keep the overview. A big advantage of OR4J is that it lets you easily build the requirement structures that best fit your needs. First of all, you have to open your R4J project in JIRA. Navigate to the Apps menu and select R4J. If it is not visible in the drop-down or under View All Projects, please contact your JIRA administrator to activate your project in R4J. As this project is not structured yet, you get an empty tree view on the left side. Please think about your initial hierarchical requirement structures before you actually start your first project. In this case, it was decided to structure our project into three top-level folders, Goals, Contacts, and Constraints, Business and User Requirements, and System Requirements. Open the context menu of the project name in the tree view and select Create Folder. If you do not have the option Create Folder, please contact your JIRA administrator to configure R4J accordingly. Now enter Goals, Contacts, and Constraints. Optionally, you can add a formatted description. To add more folders, mark the Create Another checkbox before clicking Create. Follow for the other folders in the same way. With the context menu, you can create subfolders in the same way. Finally, you get the desired folder structure in the tree view. The content is also visible on the right side, which is the reading view. To toggle between the detail and the reading view, use the icon on the right above the tree. As you have the initial structure defined, it's time to add requirements. You do this again with the context menu of the respective folder. Select Create Issue to add any kind of JIRA issue type. We add a customer requirement called Track Movement. The fields provided depend on your JIRA configuration. You can also create children of parent issues. Using the Create Other checkbox, your result could look like this. Most probably, you already have issues in your JIRA system you want to add into the tree. Use the Add Existing Issues Contacts option to select them. The first option is the simplest one. It just extends the tree with all issues not in yet. The second option offers highest flexibility. It allows you to use a Save JIRA Filter Query or a JQL statement to get the required issues. This example shows you how to add issues of type Customer Requirement. With the last option, you simply search for single issues. The issues found are added to the tree level where you started the operation. Somehow, the requirements in the Business and User Requirements folder are not mapped to the correct folders. Just drag and drop them to the right location. And that's about it. Thanks to R4J, you are now able to create your own structure within JIRA. To summarize, simply use the context menu in the right tree view to set up new folder structures of any level. Add child and subchild issues of any JIRA issue type. Drag and drop them around to rework the order they show up. Using the R4J tree structure, you can use the detail view that shows you all the details of your selected folder or issue. You can easily scroll through every detail and edit it. But if you want to see the big picture of your whole project, R4J also supports you with a so-called reading view. It lists the issue details just as easy as in a one-word document. You scroll up and down or edit inside this feature.